All right, now the next one again, we've talked about this a little bit, so I don't think this is going to be a real surprise. Um, I do think it's, I do think it gets really interesting here. This is the fight that I'm the most yeah. excited for on the card. Charles Oliveira and Armin Saruk. I'm really, by the way, thank you very much to you guys because this is this is a long one, so we're going to try and get through this as relatively quickly as possible. Um, both guys have come into this having melted the exact same person, poor Benny, poor Benny Dariush. And now they're obviously clashing three rounds to potentially determine who might be next for a lightweight title shot. I mean, maybe. Personally, I think the winner of this one's going to get royally shafted, but we'll get into that. Um, so yeah, here you go. Man, this one is tough. Um, I can understand why this is the the one that that piques your interest the most on the card mm -hmm. um, because of the relevance of it, uh, the impact of it to the lightweight division. Um, and I think that Armin Sarukian, what he showed in that Benny fight definitely was an evolution of who he is as a striker. Um, a lot of people did not know that he could strike like that. And he showed a lot. Um, and of course, Charles Oliveira is a champion. One of the, I always say he's the most exciting lightweight champion that, that we've had. And I think that um, this fight is going to show um, levels for both of them. But what I think is going to happen is that Armin Sarukian is going to go for a takedown and uh, Charles Oliveira, who one of his best moves is guillotine. It's not going to be silly. He's going to jump to Gilly. And he's going to chuck his ass out. He's going to win by submission. Oh, man. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. That's, that's I like love bold, that. That's not bold. I know, the thing is, it's not, it's not ridiculous, you know. Yeah. It's not ridiculous. Oh, uh, I was just gonna say submission, but you said Gilly, which is it makes it more exciting. Mm. I love Gilly submissions because they shouldn't work in this day and age. You they would think really not. But you would think be. not. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon? Mm. Yeah. That's a bold. Yeah, I love, that. I love it. I do too. It's a. I I can't say anything else i was just gonna go submission in the fourth so <laughs> the fourth. shit they're only fighting three they're only fighting three. Oh, they're only oh i thought this was five rounds i thought oh. this one like i thought all the rest no, of them were five only... and that's that's why i feel like this is potentially exciting because i think they're both gonna um, they're both gonna empty the go out they're crazy them. yeah i don't think this would have needed five anyway. i don't think this is gonna need five mm -hmm. i really don't nope. I think that's why it's well, not. Then, they kind of know that someone's getting, someone's going, going out. It's been a while since Charles has fought in, in a non-five rounder. Yeah. Okay. So. The goes. It's always free. Maximum. Why? Okay. Okay. They're fighting five rounds in BMF because they're making it like a championship type thing. Yeah, the real. BMF. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. Damn. It's like I think Charles, and it's like five rounds. All right. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to draw a submission. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, this this, this again was like... I feel like I'm kind of changing my mind right now as I'm thinking about it, but I'm going to I'm gonna stick to my guns. Um, <laughs> I do love Charles Oliveira. Very diverse. You know, I love the way he targets. What I love about Charles more than anything is... And this is something I talk about with fighters quite a lot. You know, fighters that target everywhere. Like they'll kick your legs, they'll chop you to the body, they'll 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 go for your dome as well. And Charles has proven that he's got KO power, which and Absolutely. you know obviously we know his jujitsu game is fucking disgraceful. Like it's unbelievable how good he is on the ground. Um, he is a little bit on the chinny side. Charles is, but you know as we know, like he often uses it to kind of lure people down onto the ground so it can be a little bit deceptive sometimes he'll just fall over as if he's been knocked down and then he'll be like come on then come into my web you know mm -hmm. that kind of and mm -hmm. as you know you don't really want to fuck around with this guy on the ground because he's he's um he's nasty um 
And on the other side, obviously, Armin's a very good offensive wrestler. He's got some power in his hands. He may not be the most diverse, but he's effective, strong, very young, very explosive. I really want Charles Oliveira to win this fight. I don't think he's going to. I think, like... I, we spoke about this a little bit in the other video you made as well. I think the one trump card that Charles Oliveira can play against most fighters in this division is that he can strike with anyone. And if he gets clipped, as we know, he can just go to the ground and either sucker people in or use the time to reset and then have get up and have another go at trying to take your head off. I don't think Sarukin is going to be afraid to follow him to the ground. I don't think he is. He's so strong. Very difficult to submit. I don't think he'll I don't think he'll go for takedowns. I think he's gonna strike with Charles and potentially catch him and drop him. And then Charles is gonna say calm down and he's gonna do it. And he's gonna lay on top of him strongly and ground and pound on him. And I think he's gonna be very hard to submit. I can see him wet blanket in him. Very similar to how Islam did. And his ground and pound is fucking nasty. Like I badly want to be wrong about this. But I think in some ways it might actually be better for the division because I don't I'm getting the impression that Charles doesn't want to fight Islam again Like he's he's spoken about wanting to fight McGregor after this, which isn't ridiculous. They're both huge I mean, I'd argue that This is a kind of a quick side question in terms of star power. Where do you think Oliveira ranks in the UFC right now? Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> um. Who's a bigger star than him in the UFC right now do you think? What names come well, to mind? Let's get the obvious ones out. You know, Connor for sure, John Jones for sure. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I'd say, man, I don't know. I, I was gonna say Dustin, but I don't know. I've seen the response that he's gotten when he's gone back home, mm -hmm. that Charles has gotten in, back home. And another thing that plays into that is how big the sport is over in Brazil. It's, there's, it's huge there's, in Brazil. There's football, and then there's yeah, MMA. MMA. Yeah. Um, That's a big ass country as well. He, he's got to be up there. He's got to be near the top. I, I would say he's arguably number one in terms of the fact that McGregor and Jones aren't really around too much. In terms of guys who fight quite regularly, yeah, you can make a case that he's the biggest star in the UFC right now. He is huge. Not just in Brazil, everywhere. This agree. guy is loved. He's loved. And it's because of that style yeah. you talk about. He's so exciting in there and he's cool as well. I think that, yeah, like in terms of that, I mean, he so he wants that McGregor fight. So maybe losing to... And McGregor would be more likely to take it probably if he did lose. That's true. Looks weaker. I think Charles would kill him, but like that's another that's another. I was gonna say Connor better not take that fight. That's the worst. Yeah, Connor would murder. He would murder Connor. It'd be horrible. But um, would be. Yeah, I don't know I if I agree be with him being the biggest star. Like, so who who would you have above him? Like we're talking. Like the I, amount of people that love him. I would probably say Volk. To be honest, like I think. Mm. Volk is far more there, likable is because Izzy. he speaks like, English. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think you can say that about, I guess, the more casual fan base. And that's how I thought you were posing the question. But if you're talking about people who have been watching for a long time, then yeah, Charles is. He's up there, I think. I think there's an yeah. argument. I'm not saying he is. I'm saying there's an argument. And, uh, you know, as as, um, yeah. as Jack said, Izzy's a good one because Izzy's... It's like that argument. Loved and hated. Izzy's both. He's got as many yeah. people who love him as you hate him. It still makes him a star. It's people who are invested yeah. in you. I think that matters. It's true. Um. So Yeah, yeah I and I, I think for... Sorry, go on. I was just going to say, I think for Charles, it's more like you guys he lost so much and when he finally won it's like you never wanted to see him lose again um yeah. you just gotta learn some english yeah, yeah. it's, a, and it's amazing know. how big he is without it yeah it? for sure i'm just saying to infiltrate the other half of the space that you would probably love to 
and make that money you know i mean because if you if you try connor's gonna hold that that on his back like they're gonna have to do a lot of marketing to make this a big fight because a casual is gonna come in they're gonna okay connor's fighting who the fuck is that guy maybe yeah uh, i think charles is big i think charles is big enough to um to co to, to headline with mcgregor i really think he would he'd be huge absolutely you know, there's That'd one more massive. person that i forgot there's one more person that i forgot that is massive now and that's somebody that we're gonna talk about later it's alex pajeda oh yeah ha damn massive as well Ilya superior yeah big as well he's getting bigger He's not at that yeah. level yet, but I think he's... How is Pajeda bigger than Charles? He don't speak English either. Nope. They, they, know how to, they know how to get their personalities out. It's incredible. But yeah, I mean, I, I hope I'm wrong. I love yeah. Charles Oliveira. I don't really I don't really care much for um for Armin, like, as a personality. And uh, he's, 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 he's interesting enough to watch. I'm just worried that wet blanket. So I'm thinking could happen. Yeah. And he's just a young guy. And the thing is, he really wants to fight. Um, he wants Islam badly. Sarukian does. He wa- he wants to fight Islam badly, and I think that that hunger is going to drive him towards it. Just uh, he does just want a it. Feeling. He does want it. That's for sure. I hope I'm wrong. 